Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope everything uh, is doing uh, well with you, and I hope that you are all fine. Uh, let's quickly start our lesson. And we said that we are talking about the forces, how the forces change the motion. Okay, I will revise with you quickly as usual, and then we will be starting the new part of today. We said before how do things move, they move by forces. And we said that, what does it mean by a force? Force is the power that helps us to move things. And we said that the force is just pull or push. Push is making the thing away from you, against you, and then pull, you are pulling it to your side. And we said that those are the examples of force. And we said that push and pull, they are the opposite forces. You are pushing away from you and you are pulling to your side. And we said that push and pull, they are important to us because they make things start moving. They stop the things from moving or they can change the shape of things like the dough and the play dough and the slime, for example. They change the direction of the things. If I want to change the direction in the right, in the left, up and down, I will use the push and pull force. And then it makes the things slower, like the shell of the snail or the turtle, and it makes things faster. So this is why push and pull they are important. And we said that there are two types of forces, either the balanced force or unbalanced force. What does it mean by balanced force? For, balanced force means that they are canceling each other. Why? Because they are equal and they are opposite. Okay? And um, unbalanced force means that they are not canceling each other. They are not equal. So they are unbalanced force. Those are the examples also, balanced and unbalanced. Okay, we are not going to say it again, of course. Okay, and we said that the heavy objects, they need much more force to move them than the light objects. And then we are going to come to a very important part, which is the forces. We said that the force is either the magnetism, the friction, or the gravity. And we started before, in the last lesson, we, we started the magnetism. Okay, before we start the magnetism, or we are going to revise it again, we said that there is something called force meter. What is a force meter? The force meter is just a tool like the thermometer, like the uh, ruler, like the measuring tape, like the pan balance. It's just a tool and it's used for measuring the forces. And then we took the magnetism. We said that the magnet, what is the magnet? It's just like a bar shape, it's the U shape, it's a circular shape, it has many shapes. This magnet, it has a north pole and south pole. We must put the different poles beside each other, why? To attract each other, because unlike poles, they attract. But what happens if I put the like poles, like the south together or the north together, they are going to be repelled. What does it mean by repel? Repel means that they are away from each other. So again, like poles repel, like the north poles, they are beside each other, or the two south poles beside each other, this means that they are away from each other. Or unlike poles, they are tracked, how the north and the south, they are opposite to each other, so they will be attracted to each other, they will stick to each other, okay? Okay, this is a video, it's about magnetism, I want you to show it to, show it to you, it's just a revision, okay, for, uh, for the part we have taken, and then we're going to start our new part. Trivia time! Hey, hello guys! Meet my friend, Miss Magnet! Whoa! So you guys already know each other. Very well then. That makes life easier, as I'm going to be talking about magnets and magnetism today. Zoom in! 
Magnets are magnificent objects that create an area of magnetic force around them, which is invisible to the human eye. This area is known as the magnetic field. If a magnetic object is inside that area, it gets attracted towards the magnet and moves towards it without any physical contact. Looks like magic, isn't it? Now, what's a magnetic object? Objects that get attracted to a magnet are called magnetic objects and the objects that do not get attracted to a magnet are called non-magnetic objects. For example, a piece of wood or cloth won't even move if kept near a magnet. But nickel and copper get attracted to a magnet when the north-south direction points to the north south pole of the magnet and the end that points south is called the south pole of the magnet. That's for you. Take these two magnets. The north and south pole should be marked on these magnets. And see what happens. Now, did you know that the earth behaves like this because if a magnet has objects even underwater? Tune in next time for more fun facts. This is me zooming out. Okay, I hope that you understood the, everything in this video. It's just the revision for what we have taken before. Okay, uh, now we're going to come to our new part today, which is the materials that can be attracted or can be repelled or can not be attracted to the magnets. So those materials can be either magnetic or non-magnetic. Okay, what does it mean by this? Magnetic materials that they are the materials that they are attracted to the magnets. Again, magnetic materials, they are the materials, they are the things that they are attracted to the magnet. Like what? Like the nickel, okay, like, like the iron, like the cobalt, like the steel. So those are the four materials that they can be attracted to the magnet. Again, they are the nickel, they are the iron, they are the cobalt, they are the steel. Okay, uh, I know that you are going to ask about the nickel and the cobalt that you didn't see be them before. They are just materials that, like the iron and like the steel, okay, that they can be attracted to the magnet. Okay, so again, magnetic materials, that they are the materials that they are attracted to the magnets. Like what? Like the nickel, like the iron, like the cobalt and the steel. Okay, what about? Non-magnetic materials, non-magnetic materials that they are the materials that they do not get attracted to the magnet. That the magnet, if you put the magnet beside them, the magnet will not attract them. Even they are not going to be repelled. They are not going to be attracted. It's like the what? Like the wood, the glass, the plastic, and the rubber. All of those materials that they are called non-magnetic materials means that they are not going to be attracted to the magnet. So today we took a new word, which is the magnetic materials, the non-magnetic materials. Magnetic materials means that they are the materials that they are attracted to the magnet. If you put a magnet beside the nickel, the iron, the cobalt, or the steel, those materials, they are called magnetic materials, so they will be attracted to the magnet. They will be stuck to the magnet. But if you got wood, glass, plastic, or rubber, they will not be attracted to the magnet. They will not show any effect to the magnet, so they are called non-magnetic materials, means that they will not be attracted to the magnet. Okay, now we will solve together some questions to know that, if, what is this? if it is magnetic or non-magnetic materials. Okay, so the first thing, this is, okay, this is the caoutchouc of the, uh, or the tire of the cars. So it's made of rubber. So the rubber is magnetic or non-magnetic material. It is, yes, it would be non-magnetic materials. Excellent one. Okay, so those are, plastic cubes so plastic cubes are they magnetic or non-magnetic are they going to be attracted or not attracted to the magnet they will be not attracted yes so they will be 
non-magnetic, excellent ones. Then comes, this is a wooden plate, okay, with wooden uh, cups and wooden spoons. So all of them, they are made of wood. Are they gonna be magnetic or non-magnetic? Yes, they will be non-magnetic also. Here comes a duck, it's made of plastic. Okay, so is it magnetic or non-magnetic or it can be made of rubber? Both of them, they are correct, rubber or plastic. So it will be non-magnetic, excellent ones. It will not be attracted to the magnet. Okay, then here comes a very important part, which is we, said, we, we knew before from the last years that the matter can be solid, liquid or gas. Magnets can attract or repel the things through those three states of matter. For example, if you got here a, a glass thing, okay, and it has, for example, nickel inside, or it has iron, or it has steel, or all of the magnetic things. If you put the magnet beside this glass, it will attract the things inside. It will not attract the glass itself, but it will attract the things which they are inside. But if you, for example, put inside it a wood, wooden cup or wooden uh, thing or uh, a rubber or anything, so the magnet can attract with things the straight right? They are magnetic materials. The magnet, if I put inside this glass non magnetic materials, so they will not be attracted. As well as if you got a cup of water, okay, and you put inside this water, you put, for example, a nail. Get a magnet and then attract the nail from the water. You will see that the nail will be attracted to the magnet. This means that the magnet can attract the things through the liquid. Try to put in the same water, try to put a, a, a wooden spoon. Will be attracted? No. This means that the magnet can repel or cannot attract the thing or the non-magnetic material from the liquid as well as of course the gas if you left anything in the air and then you come you you bring a magnet and then bring it beside this thing you will see that it will be attracted or repelled okay so this is all about the magnetism we took the magnetism we took the magnet the north and the south pole like poles attract unlike poles repel we took that there are two types of materials, magnetic or non-magnetic materials. Magnetic, it's like the iron, the steel, the cobalt, or the nickel. They are attracted to the magnet. Non-magnetic materials, they are like the wood, the, the plastic, the, the rubber. Okay, that means that they are not attracted to the magnet. And we took that the magnets can attract to repel the things through the three states of matter. Okay. Here comes uh, the solving part, which is your, in your resource packs. You will find it in page 17. We are going to solve it together. Here in number one in question three, saying to you, how can you tell if an object is magnetic or not? If I bring you anything, anything in the world, how can you tell me if it is magnetic or not? Yes, how? By get if this a magnetic material i'm sorry for this uh, answer which is uh, coming first if the materials that they are magnetic if it's magnetic material so it will be attracted to the magnet while if this material it's non-magnetic so it will not be attracted to the magnet so if i'm bringing you anything in the world and i told you please let me know that this is magnetic or non-magnetic you will see you will bring a magnet and then you will put it beside this material and you will see if it is magnetic so it will be attracted to the magnet if it's non-magnetic so it will not be attracted okay if you don't know what is this material made from okay question number two he's saying to you here is a bar magnet you can see this bar magnet okay and then he is giving you some materials which of those they are magnetic and which of those they are non-magnetic okay so the first one is the wooden pencil, then plastic spoon, then iron coin, then rubber, then cobalt box, then the steel nail. First of all, the wooden pencil, it will be, of course, it will be non-magnetic. Yes, I will show you the answers at the end. The plastic spoon, it will be non-magnetic also. It will not be attracted to the magnet. Then comes the iron coin. It is 
magnetic, of course, because it's made of iron. Then comes the rubber. The rubber, is it attracted or no? No, it will not be attracted, so it is non-magnetic. Then comes the cobalt. Cobalt box, it's made of cobalt. The cobalt is magnetic material, of course. And then the last one is steel nail. The steel nail, it's made of steel, of course, so it will be, yes, magnetic. So the magnetic will be the iron coin, the cobalt box, and the steel nail. The non-magnetic will be the wooden pencil, the plastic spoon, and the rubber. Okay. Number three, uh, sorry again for the answer which comes first. Number three, saying to you, magnetic objects are attracted to the magnet because they may be made of one of the following materials which they are, the four materials which they are magnetic, we said that they are, the nickel, the iron, the cobalt, and the steel. Okay? Then the last question we're having it today, number four, he's saying to you, do you think these magnets would repel, means push away, or attract, means stick together? Here you're having, two, the first one, you're having two magnets. You don't know if it is north or south, okay, but you can see different colors. White, black, white, black. And the black, it is beside the white. So are they opposite or are they alike? Yes, they are opposite. So opposite poles, they will, excellent, they will attract. Comes the second bars of those magnets. Also black and white and black and white. Here is be making beside each other the white ones. So are they opposite or are they alike? They will be alike. So they will be repelling from each other. Excellent ones. I hope that you understood everything well. Okay. Now I want from you something which is an activity. Okay. Uh, it's not graded, but I hope that you will make it. I want you to uh, make a small activity at home that you will bring uh, some materials, uh, either small or big materials. And then if you have a magnet at home, uh, try to bring the magnet beside those materials. If they are attracted to them, please tell me that they are magnetic materials. If they are not attracted to the magnets, so please tell me that they are non-magnetic materials. If you want to send me videos, I will be happy to see the, uh, you that you, you are making the things with your hands and you are sending me videos, really I will be uh, very excited. If you want to uh, send me pictures, uh, also uh, I would be happy to see that you, you are making this activity. I hope that you are all will make this activity. Uh, it's just to make you uh, remember every part and also it will be uh, something for fun and to uh, refresh uh, as if you are in the school together, okay? So please do this activity, get materials at home and get a magnet and then see this magnet will attract or not attract the things and tell me this is magnetic or non-magnetic. Thank you so much for today. I hope that you understood well. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you so much.